everyone welcome to my channel my name is Julia so I wanted to do a video today all about how I organize my MacBook and how I also customize my MacBook I wanted to show you guys how I get my customized background folders my sticky note how I organize my MacBook just in general. I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro with retina display. It's lasted me for so many years. So I wanted to show you guys how I organize mine and customize mine so it's cute. I feel like when my electronics are like aesthetically pleasing, it makes me want to feel more productive on them and get stuff done. Kind of a weird mentality to have, but this is what I do. So before we get started, I wanted to show you guys the skin that I have on my computer. So this is from Case App and it's actually a sticker. So rather than putting it right on top of my laptop, I like to put it onto a clear case, which I actually got from Amazon. I'm not as worried about damage on the bottom, so I do like to have a clear case on top of it just, just to be safe. So if you guys want to get them for your own laptop, I will link them below for you guys. Let's just jump right into it. All right, we're rolling. So as you can see, this is my home screen and I recently just made this collage. So I like to make my collages on PicMonkey. So I did wanna give you guys another free option if you guys don't want to pay for PicMonkey. Canva is a website that has basically all the same features. So all you have to do is find the dimensions for your own MacBook. I just typed in MacBook Pro 13 inch screen dimensions and it came up. So I just put that into my PicMonkey. These little designs here, and here that are like the little speckles. Those are from PicMonkey. If you guys want the screensaver that I used and that I made, I can link it below for you guys if you wanna use it on your own MacBook. Otherwise, you can make one that is customized to your own liking. So other things that you will probably see that are customized on my screen are my folders. I'll get into that in a little bit, but my folders are customized as well as my sticky note. So with the sticky notes, all you do to find that is go to the launch pad on the bottom and you just type in stickies here. I put the stickies into my doc system down here, but you can always just search it and put them on your screen that way. You can change the color of them to any of these colors. I like gray because it goes with my background the best but you can also change the font. So you can change your font that way. I just like to keep it very basic and simple with Helvetica, but you can also change the size of it. So you can change the size with these here, or you can hit the command plus sign. You can just highlight that and make it bigger. You can do command B to make it bold, command I to make it italicized, command U to make it underlined, things like that. So I like to have a running to-do list on my screen just so I see it right away. That is kind of how I customize my home screen. And then also with the dock down here, if you're using a mouse, you'd right click, but if you're using your touchpad, you would use two fingers to click on the dock station so you can turn hiding on. So that would mean your dock on the bottom would be hidden at all times. And then to get it, you would just float your mouse down to the bottom. So that way it's a little more clean looking. I personally like to have my dock there. I don't know why, but I like to have it on. As for everything else, it's pretty much standard how most MacBooks come. That's just kind of how I like it. Another thing that you can do to kind of customize this top bar here, as you can see, mine is highlighted as gray. So you're gonna go to the Apple and then to System Preferences. I have mine conveniently right here. So that's how I get to that. And then you can go to General and you can change your appearance from blue. I changed mine to graphite because I like the gray appearance a little bit better. And then you can also change your highlight color to anything so that way when you highlight text it shows up as a different color so mine is also graphite you can do any color that you want i just like that very minimalistic gray neutral look so that's why i chose graphite and then you can also use the dark mode in your menu i personally don't really care if it's dark mode or not so i just don't have it on there and you can also automatically hide or show the menu bar now moving on to the folders on my MacBook. I like to keep my YouTube and podcast stuff right on the main page. I don't like to have too many folders on my homepage just because I don't like the whole cluttered look. I left a little bit of gray space in my collage so I can put those icons there. So as you can see, my folders are kind of like a light pink color. So to do that, I'm gonna click once onto the folder and then you're gonna go file, get info. And from there, you are going to click on the folder there where it's highlighted. You're gonna go to edit, and then copy. You're gonna head to preview, so you can type in preview. And so it pulls it up on the bottom here, on my bottom dock. Then you're gonna go file new from clipboard. So from that, as you can see, my files are already pink, but yours should be blue if you're just first doing this. So from there, you can go to markup 
and then you're gonna hit the little adjust color button which is that little triangle you can adjust your color with the exposure or the contrast you can literally do whatever your heart desires and you can make it however you please that's how you make the color of it and then from there you go to the file copy button and then you'll have this little plus sign you just draw and do that and then you go file copy and then you can close that go back to your get info you're gonna go edit paste and then it'll paste that folder onto there I also know that you can do like custom icons you would just need to find a transparent or a PNG file of whatever shape that you want and I can leave a YouTube video linked down below on how to do that I personally like the file icon but I just wanted to change it to a different color so it would match a little bit better so that's how I do my custom files I also did the same thing in my documents folder so as you can see here it's the same pink files in the 2020 folder I just keep things like my lease termination notice my CPR card and things like that golden honey scrunchies is my Etsy shop so I like to keep my files in here here's my Etsy shop banner I doodled that little scrunchie here is the doodle of it if you guys were curious and then I have my purchase labels that just say thank you and then I have my resume in there which is obvious I have my resume and my references in there and then the templates to make my resume so if I ever were to have to adjust things I keep it in there but I like to keep my resume as a PDF file because I feel like it's better to send your resume in a PDF format rather than a word document so and then in the school folder I just have my tuition receipts notes things like that I clearly I didn't change the folders on this one because I'm graduating soon I will probably be deleting those very soon so kind of unnecessary to have it in there so that's how I organize my folders in my documents and then as for like other things that i have on my computer I, I don't really have any crazy like software programs or anything on here so everything on here pretty much along these rows are entirely what comes on the macbook but when it comes to final cut pro i did buy that it is pretty expensive but it is what i edit all of my videos with so i've had it for quite a few years so final cut pro is what I edit with and I will be doing a how I edit video very soon GarageBand I use GarageBand to record my podcast so I like to use that Google Chrome is the browser that I like to use I'll also show you how I customize my Google Chrome like welcome page I guess and then lockdown browser is like um it's like a browser that has no options to search and you have to take your test in lockdown browser and you can't go out of it so you can't like cheat on your tests or whatever so we had to have lockdown browser for my school i'm probably safe to get rid of it but we'll do that later and then microsoft powerpoint and microsoft word hp smart is the software for my printer it's actually my printer that i had at my apartment but i don't i'm not using that one currently so I just keep it on there for future reference. Origin is how I download The Sims. I actually had to delete The Sims 4 off of my computer because it just takes up so much storage. But I am such a Sims fanatic. I've been playing since I was literally in like sixth grade. So I'm obsessed with Sims, but had to delete it. Still have Origin on there for the next time that I do re-download The Sims. And then of course, Zoom because we had to have so many Zoom meetings for school. So those are all of the apps that I have on here. And then on the bottom here, I just have my finder, my launch pad, which is that thing we were just in, my photos, which I don't have any photos even in there, so I don't know why I have this in here. Sticky, system preferences, reminders, I don't use this, so I can probably get rid of that. My iTunes, which I have all of my copyright free music downloaded onto there from Epidemic Sound, which is what I use for my videos. And then of course FaceTime, my calendar. I don't use the iCalendar for actual like scheduling purposes, but I do like it just to reference like the date or anything if I need to schedule anything. Notes. So I have a lot of things in here like the sounds that I use frequently on Final Cut Pro. I have iMessages on here. Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, Safari, Google Chrome, QuickTime Player, which I'm recording with that right now, but usually it's not at the bottom, and then Preview, which I can get rid of that. So now we'll go to Google Chrome and how I customize that. So Google Chrome is my browser of choice. I really like Google Chrome, but as you can see, I customized my background. I also made this background on PicMonkey. I can also link this one below if you guys wanna use this one on your laptop. You just go to this little pencil button and you just upload from your device. So you can also choose one that they have uploaded, but I personally wanted one of my own. So as you can see, my frequently visited websites. Of course, YouTube is number one because I'm on YouTube constantly. 
And then for my top bar, I don't have any apps downloaded besides the normal typical Google apps, but I do have Link Ninja, which is my little reward style affiliate link generator if there's a website that has an affiliate link that i can get like a little bit of commission off of it will generate a link through that and then i have rad tech boot camp on the top which i've been using to study for boards it's been great and then the last one is a temporary licensure thing that i need to fill out after graduation so i have that there just so i can quickly access it and if you guys want to follow me on pinterest here is my profile. I really love Pinterest so much. It is so fun for me. I really get a lot of inspiration on here when it comes to clothing, plants, home decor, future homes that I would love to have, different quotes, things like that. So if you guys want to follow me on Pinterest, I'll leave it below. That is pretty much everything on how I customize my MacBook and just kind of make it more personalized to my own liking. If you guys have any other recommendations for customization or like little organizing tips, you should definitely leave them in a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you guys don't miss any future videos from me. And then also don't forget to go follow over on Instagram. That is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys very soon in a new one.